Eric Stevens from Pomari and uh, welcome to another session um, on Excelsius. Uh, this time I'm going to be showing you how you can connect to Clarity um, and uh, basically just start working within Excelsius. Now this is connecting um, both from Clarity itself um, and within Excelsius so that you can then get a Clarity information while you're doing your testing. Um, because I know there's uh, there's lots of help out there in terms of putting all of your connection details in with your parameters and things like that but um, this is more of a problem of when you actually want to start testing so putting in your username password um, if for instance you wanted to connect uh, using content within PowerPoint or within um, PDFs or something like that so uh, so yeah so that's uh, that's what we're going to be doing today so first of all, if, uh, if we have a look down here, you can see that we've got one tab, which is our connection tab, uh, with a lot of the sort of standard information for the SOAP headers. So you've got your SOAP start, your username start, so all of these are common tags, and you can all make a note of these as you go through the video. Um, but if you look at some of the special ones, so for instance, uh, this one here, so this is just an if statement. So this is just saying if it's blank on B13, which is your session ID. So when you uh, push information into uh, Excelsius from Clarity, you'll be linking one of the cells into here. And I'll show you that in, uh, in just a second. Uh, so obviously, when you actually push a, se push a ses session ID in from Clarity, uh, there will be something in here. And then this will take over. So it will then use that particular SOAP header. Um, but otherwise, what you want it to do is to start using the uh, the username and password. So you've got the username, password boxes here, which you can type in within uh, within Excelsis itself, and start using those. And so you can see that this is like B10 and B11, which is the username and password. So this is login only, and this will just take the values from the username and password and substitute them in here. Okay, so let's just create a couple of data connections up here then. So if we go to uh, to the data connections, we'll s click on Add. And the first one that we will create is um, the flash variables. So this is the normal way that you would uh, link into Clarity. So from the portlet within Clarity into Excelsius. So if we just uh, click two of those, and uh, what we'll do so we'll name this one here uh, P session ID and this will be to link the session itself in Clarity when we come to uh, to do that linkage and this one is going to be the uh, the URL so what we want to do is to link this one into there and the session ID we want to link to that one there. Okay, So that gives us our flash variables and we'll also set up a connection as well. So we want a web service connection and we'll just call this uh, some query from Clarity and then the WSDL URL. So the WSDL URL needs to be whatever your um, your instance of Clarity is and it's going to be in that format and this is version 13 as well so it'll be NICU WSDL query because you want to get a query and then the name of the query itself so uh, so that, that's what the ID of the query is. And then we'll uh, click on import. And notice it brings in all of this information because the method that we've actually got here is login. So what we want to do is just to say we want the query because we want the information um, from that particular query. Uh, we also want to link in the code. So the code is going to be um, within the connection itself as well. So there's your NSQL queries. And so let's pop that in there. Um, the other thing that we may want to do is to get some of the information from the query as well and start putting that into other tabs. So as you bring the data in, 
Uh, we're not going to do that um, today. Now what you do want to do is to refresh the components after they've been loaded in this instance uh, and also the soap header we want to link that in to this particular highlighted row here. And it's always a good idea just to highlight the things that you want to use within your sheets. Uh, it just makes them stand out a little bit better. Okay so Let's just check that we've got everything in there. So we've got the code of the query. Um, oh, the other thing is the web service URL as well. So we want to put that in and we'll put that. There's that. Okay. Let's just preview what we've got so far. And there's nothing that we're actually showing in there. So let's just add a little bit of text so we can add uh, say a label let's just pull that across let's just link that to um, cell so we'll link it to the soap header so we want to see what soap header it's actually using let's just preview again Okay, I'll just need to put in a username password. So let's just put in something there. Okay, so if we just uh, preview this, then you can see that you've got your um, session ID, which is um, the username and the password. So that is your SOAP header that's actually been used, and that's uh, down to this little line here so this if it's blank so on B13 so it is blank it then uses the username and password so that's all well and good when we're uh, sort of when we're using Excelsius from this particular site here so let's just uh, export this into a flash file so we can link this into uh, Clarity so call this demo2 so just generate that and then if we jump over to Clarity itself okay so what we want to do is just to create ourselves a portlet so, so we've got one called demo one here and these are the parameters that we created back in Excelsius the P session ID uh, and these are global parameters uh, so that's your session so it just grabs the session from wherever you're running within Clarity uh, and then the URL so that's your web service uh, URL and let's just pop that into uh, so if we just take that one out because we know we created one called uh, demo2 so let's put that in there okay and then if we just add in that portlet onto this particular screen so just add another portlet and there you go and then you can see that now within this one instead of getting the username password what it's done is it's got the session ID because it's passed the session ID across so when you're going from Clarity it will use the session ID not the username and password but if you run it within Excelsius itself, then it will uh, use the username and password. Uh, and that concludes this particular video. Thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one.